Hey everybody, welcome back. So I was just uh, exploring Xenon space, just the one sector there. Actually, I was looking for crystals. And uh, I noticed uh, this battleship Saka. is basically kicking their ass and then some. So I thought I'd check it out for fun. Um, maybe I can be protected by it. Now keep in mind, even if you dock on one of these ships and they shoot your ship, they can take it out. So... <laughs> But I just wanted to see this thing in action. He is not even, Contain, like, container. sweating. He is just incinerating everything. Now, he might be a little weaker now that I'm here. <laughs> but uh, let's let's check out what we got here anyway. There's some loot I missed here. There you go. So we'll see if we can take out some of these ships and work on that one mission that we got last time that we picked up was kill t uh, 10 or 8 Xenon. So if we can do that, why not, right? Oh, and here's the uh, the part where it doesn't work out so well. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is the part where it doesn't work out as well. There you go. We got out of there. Yeah, unfortunately, we're a bit weak on uh, being able to easily take them out right now. Once they start, you know, tagging you, you kind of get owned pretty quickly, unfortunately. Which is too bad, because it would be kind of fun to take these guys out. It would be funny if it was just the singular ship. Where's his health bar? Oh, he has no health? He's like a sneeze away? Oh, there you go. Woohoo! Container, we'll container. There. there you go. Okay, let's see what else we have here. M. Oh, that guy's dead already. Woohoo! There you go. That's getting that mission done. Container. P. It, no, I'm not touching the P. That's dirty after all. M. There you go. Here's another M. Holy crap. Crap. That laser actually was impressive. Their turrets might be better object. than I expected. Ooh, and there you go. 140k just right there. Defense drone. I wonder if defense drones are counted. Let's see. Yes, they are. Oh, and we're getting hit again. Don't get in his fire, by the way. Because you can easily get friendly fire and then defense you're doomed. Drone. These guys probably have good aim too, the defense drones. Oh. There we go. Now we're not doing so good. Where's that ship? I hear it. I can't see it. There you go. There you go. Oh, that didn't work out for us. We were doing good and I, I should have got out of there the second I could have. Not doing so good now, are we? Docking Let's see if we can dock and survive here. Which one did we get docked on? No, we did get docked on there. Maybe we were backwards? I don't know. There you go. Hey, don't we have a docking computer on this thing? Oh, there you go. Actually, you know what? They might have fixed it so you are protected, but I'm not sure if you do. Let's see what the map says here. Oops. I don't think my ship is vibrating. Oh, shields are up. I know we're good right now. What about the actual ship? Oh, that ship is fine. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's explore now. Might as well check it out to see what it's like on one of these ships uh, when it's under fire. So imagine later on in this game owning a ship like this and being protected. And by the way, you could probably store this for protection too. So um, put in internal storage. There you go. So now your ship is uh, protected basically. There you go. 
hanging out. <laughs> this is so awesome. So this is what the bridge of one of these bigger ships look like, obviously. This is, I think, one of two of their biggest ships. I believe they have two big ships. There's another one, which is a Asgard one, which has, like, this massive, massive gun on the front of it. It has two, like, really big ones on it, which fire all the time, which this might be actually something it has, too. It has something like what these guns are like. These might be the same ones. And at the very front, it has, like, this big, huge uh, Asgard beam, basically. And it takes, like, 30 seconds. It fires for five seconds, and I think it takes 30 seconds to charge it up. Like, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, his shields are doing so well, like, he's taking no damage. Actually, I, I'm wrong. This is a battle... Oh, no, this is just a regular battleship, so this is not even their big ones. This is a large. I don't even think that's an X-large. Yeah, so, actually, I take that back. That's just, uh... Yeah, does this show the, uh, the names of those ships? So this has two of them, right? So this is, like, a battleship, I think. So this is a fighter auxiliary builder... Oh, XL. Okay, so large. Yeah, so this is just a large fighter, which is, I guess, a battleship, because it said battle battle group, yeah. Wow, this ship does so well. Yeah, it's a destroyer type. There you go. Wow, it does amazing for a destroyer. Holy crap. So just imagine one day we'll own a ship like this. They don't have much crew here to man something like Hello this, there. apparently. Good luck out there. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. Anyways. You can use your spacesuit. That would be really stupid. Good way to get yourself killed, obviously. There you go. Can I jump over here? I guess probably not. I want to walk around the ship like that, but you're not really supposed to, so... Okay. Okay. There you go. away from the big ship so I can hit you. I ain't gonna hit them, you. He's trying to get me to bait and shoot them and get to war with the Terrans, huh? He knows what he's up to. There you go. Container. 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 Yes. Container. Se security thing there. P. No, nope, we're not touching that. M. We'll touch that one. Well, did the thing pop up for that? I'm not even sure. I wasn't paying attention, but I feel like it didn't. I'm not going to use sprint here because I just want to obviously boost. I don't know why I call it sprint, but there you go. Unknown object. There you go. It's known. It says right there, interface thing. I guess for you yeah, have to scan it for a second. You don't see it exactly. P. Yeah, no, the P M. is not mine. This guy's mine. I'm gonna even just boost to him because he is mine. Away, lasers. He's mine. Boom. Done. There you go. Now we're rich, my friends. Ammunition container. Container. And keep in mind, there's gonna be lots of um, missions it's where you're gonna out. actually come out here and fight with the your your guys. There's a whole series on that, so that's pretty cool. But I'm guessing over time, these guys are gonna slowly try to take over the whole sector. So. I think we need a boost here. There we go. We're out of here. Okay, we're out of there. But I thought it would be fun to show you that. Now I think what we want to do is show you a bit of the crystal mining. Um, so this is something you do as a player. Um, though... There is some crystals that drop. I think it's only like one type basically when the other NPCs mine and it drops on the ground. I don't think it's these guys. Well, maybe it is and they pick them up automatically. I'm not sure. But anyways, 
Um, basically, when you're out here, you can do uh, this crystal mining. Now that we've been out here for a while, it might be a bit derpy. So let's see here. Basically, you, you shift H, you know, hide your HUD, control uh, H, hide your, I think I just saw it, but I'm not sure. Let's see if it happens again. Yep, there it is. So see right here, look at this rock right there. We're going to go, see that? That is, there it is. So right there, that's the crystal stuff. So we just go to it and uh, yeah, you'll be able to mine it. So here it is. So this is the purple pinkish one. Yeah, those suck. They're like the lowest cost ones usually. But basically, you just aim your turrets on it, and you shoot, and you just suck in. Which, once again, that's the O key. And so you just do this for a while. You can do this. It's it's probably not worth a lot of money these days. I find it's not worth a lot. But it's kind of a fun thing. Like Asteroid. To me, that's kind of why I enjoy it. It's kind of like one of those soothing things like... You know, if you like watching a bit of Netflix or something on the side and just do this for like, you know, 30 minutes or an hour or whatever. And it's just it's just kind of one of those grindy things that, you know, isn't going to pay you a lot, but it's just kind of enjoyable to do. And that's actually why I came into this sector to begin with. I wanted to see if, you know, the crystal stuff was still, you know, going to work and whatnot. And I thought, oh, there's probably a good sector to do it with Xenon in it. Usually Xenon space is okay, unless it's one of those ones that you get, in, you know, like damage just being in the uh, space. But uh, usually you're pretty safe actually inside of deep Xenon space if you just like fly around and, you know, out here in the middle of nowhere, basically, like we are. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, pretty cool. So there's different ones as well. We're, we're, we're obviously only seeing the, the pink ones so far. Oh, let me turn this off. I had a bug, by the way. You remember last time, the waypoints, when I was setting them, and they kind of bugged out on us uh, for our other ship that we said we'd use it for scouting? So what ended up happening is when I was doing the guidance thing and setting a destination, the guidance was kind of not working. It was disappeared. It didn't show the path anymore. And then I realized, oh, my game was actually bugged. So I just re-logged. You know, I saved and re-logged and reloaded, and uh, I, I was good. So when I say re-log, I mean I closed down the game and then reopened it, but... Uh yeah, I was like, oh, damn, like I was a little worried there after the guidance started to break, but I realized I've actually come across this bug before like that. So uh, maybe not on the guidance one as much or maybe on the guidance, but I don't know if I came through the waypoint one, but they seem to be connected. It just has something to do with the 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 the, the little uh, system that they do to draw the lines for some reason just ends up breaking for some reason. So. Now there is a something, and it seems like it's programmed this way. Um, as time goes on, like if you you farm these for a while, or if you're in the area for a while, it does seem like the crystals just don't shine anymore either. So it's not like saying, oh, you know, I don't know if they the, the crystals even exist at that point, or if they just lose their shine or what. But I feel like it's part of the nerf if you camp the same area too long. Uh, they seem to not show Asteroid. up. But there is one over here, so obviously that time hasn't come yet. <laughs> I really don't know enough to tell you the ins and outs of the system like that, if that is the case, but I think that is somewhat what was happening, if I recall, from my own experience from the past. Okay, so there you go. Oh. If you miss and destroy the asteroid, you're not going to get many of them. There you go. Because the asteroid itself has health, so you can destroy it. Oh, by poor silicon. Boom. Asteroid. And then you got your actual chunks of silicon too, which you can actually mine and pick up. We can't because we don't even have the right cargo for it. Anything else? It was more of a sample. I just wanted to show you what it would look like more than actually do this for like an hour. I don't see anything there. But yeah, turn around even, you know, go backwards because the asteroids flip around. I think I, yeah, I did. Uh, the asteroids uh, turn and move around, so if you look backwards too, you might see some from the other side of it. So I'm hoping this is a different color. Probably not. Nah, darn it. it would be nice to find. So there's a rare one. There's the yellow ones, and I think there's a white one or something. There's just some rare one, anyways, that exists. And I've never gotten it from all the times I've played. And I put like 500 hours into this game, but this one crystal is so rare that uh, basically there's an achievement for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never, ever, ever gotten it. So I'll play around with this a bit more just for fun since I'm here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll continue on. We're going to go back to our main space and uh, see what other missions there are.
Okay, so we're gonna dock here. We're in, uh, where are we? Mars, I think. Orbital defense station. And we're supposed to dock at this orbital defense station here. Docking granted. And have a meeting. So we're gonna do that now. Thank you. So I didn't really get that many more crystals. Uh, I was actually uh, being chased by the those cac whatever the alien dudes, and they were kind of taking good shots at me. So I was like, "Eh, I'm out of there." Successfully docked. So let's actually get up first. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Thank we're you. pleased to welcome you aboard. Well, thank you again. The more the merrier, right? So Secret Service Bureau. Oh, that's cool. Let's go to the Traders one first, though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the one that sounds pretty cool, but uh, I'd like to check out Hello. this one. Let's see if there's anything we can craft here, to be fair. Do, 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 do. We still want to craft some stuff in the future, and yeah, we want to uh, find a, a one dude for that, but we're not going to worry about it too much right now. Look at this. Wow, base price, total price. Because we got a bunch of those. Okay. Can I help? Show me your here wares, you buddy. So here's this one we can get rid of. Um, that's pretty much it for those right now. We should probably finally get our spacesuit upgrade here and hand laser that could be useful. Yeah, we'll see that. And then we can get rid of this stuff here, some extra stuff. These are the crystals, right? So this is where you make your money. We bit of money anyway. It's not a lot when you think about it, right? But uh, eh, whatever, it's some money. There we go. We have 1.2 million. I didn't know Good we were. Out there. Didn't realize we were getting to that point actually. So uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out this meeting. See what's going on here. Well, this is fancy. You don't have a good view of anything though. But hello, fancy lady. Recruit. It's good to see you're still <laughs> in one piece. Apologies for the harsh welcome earlier. Communications cut off as soon as you engage those Xenon infrastructure units. And I cannot stand having no vision on my subordinates. Uh, I'm ready to make my report. There's no need for a detailed report, Recruit. My staff have already extracted your ship logs the moment you arrived. It is beyond dispute that what you have witnessed is of the utmost concern to the Protectorate. But that is only half of the reason why I called you here personally. You have displayed unquestionable obedience and clarity of mind in the most stressful of situations, and distinguished yourself as a defender of Saul in even the darkest hours of our operation. I hereby raise you to the rank of special operative, and no, refusal is not an option. But I might deign to answer some of your questions, if you have any. No classified subjects, though. Okay, so what happened to my wingman, by the way? My analysts are not entirely sure about the exact order of events. For that, we would have to interrogate Shinnaman himself, and he remains MIA. Judging by your report, it seems he may have been abducted. But I have a suspicion that there's more to it than that. I really should have read the signs beforehand. After all, predicting the movements of ally and enemy alike is core to my job here. For some reason, Shinnamon must have tried desperately to make a name for himself, to be inquisitive and proactive in every situation. He also seems to have eerie intuition regarding the Xenon. I can only guess that something in his childhood, surrounded by stories about the glorious Terran War, against the machine scourge must have sparked his imagination try to understand that which cannot be understood might have been his downfall well that's interesting uh what is the soulborn militia really a cutting edge operation to strengthen societal cohesion or if you believe intervention just another failed experiment when i originally pitched the idea I was mostly concerned with creating a common cause for the disenfranchised of Saul. Though drawing in foreign attention seekers turned out to be a welcome side effect. After all, why would you care? Stand up and fight for our beautiful system if you felt like a second-class citizen. Or worse, an alien. I suppose there are a few parallels to the Pioneer's initiative. 
Another campaign that defied expectations in its own way. Call it a hunch. But I'm sure you'll be able to see that for yourself very soon. Okay. Uh, how is this uh, situation for the uh, uh, Antigon or something? I, f I say it wrong, but uh, I always think it's Antigon, but... That was an unfortunate confrontation, to say the least. We came close to a debacle, but I was ultimately able to smooth things over with the Secretary of the Antigone Republic. Antigone. When interacting Antigone. with the rest of the Gate Antigone. Network, we will always attempt to show ourselves from our best angle. But make no mistake, Earth will not allow herself to be abused or threatened ever again. Okay, where do I go from here? Oh, did Lee have it in for us? Oh, yeah, let's see that one. I suppose I do owe you an explanation. <laughs> yes, I suspected that the glorious Intervention Corps would have their eye on us from the start. And I did recognize the captain of that transport ship immediately. I do understand his perspective. A ragtag bunch of barely citizens... Would-be heroes and foreigners defending Saul? That sounds like a recipe for failure. Still, I did not expect Commander Lee to degrade himself and poke around right under our noses, only to spit on our efforts when he saw a stumble. My department may not have much power in the grand scheme of things, but this will have consequences, believe me. Okay. Uh, where do you go from here? Well... I must say that I am hesitant to send you away again so soon. But since you're asking, there might indeed be something to help take your mind off these unfortunate events. That is, if you think you're ready. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, I'm ready. There you go. I see. No time to waste, right? Now, I would like to talk to you about this so-called Project Genesis. That's the code name of a top secret operation that the Sigaris pioneers are cooking up. We certainly know more about it than they would like, but we remain in the dark when it comes to their ultimate goal. We do know that it involves a facility in their space with an unknown purpose. Fortunately for us, there seems to have been an incident, and the station was evacuated until repairs could be carried out. This is a short-lived opportunity to gather intel. As such, We've taken action to inject false security documents into a Pioneer database. Congratulations, Operative. You're now a qualified Pioneer Engineer First Class. Oh, look at that. You are set to join one of their engineering teams to repair that facility. Oh, nice. During the operation, gather whatever information you can, but use your discretion. Just follow along with their instructions and you'll be fine. The team is gathering in Neptune. There you go. Welcome back, Operative. <laughs> okay, so we can use our uh, Shift D here, okay. get back to our ship faster. There you go. And let's go ahead and dock here. So we're heading to Neptune, huh? We believe the scientist in charge of Project Genesis is also heading up the repair team. Be sure to stay on his good side. Well, it depends if I want to be on his bad side. There you go. Entering asteroid belt. How's my other ship doing, anyways? I mean, he's doing his zigzags here still. I guess it takes him a while, but he's he's definitely doing it. It's a slower ship too. Don't forget. So uh, the slower it is, the longer it'll take. So it'll be a while before he gets anywhere if if you thoroughly think about it. But that's all good. Um, I could always go and look and buy a new ship eventually here too. So we could go buy a ship here. Let's see. So I think the fastest one might be this guy right here. The rapier, I think it was. Yeah, I think this would be your like the fastest of the ships. Um, so if you go like that and you go like that, you get yourself some okay shields there. I guess you can give him some weapons. I really don't care. Let's give him like these ones here then. Um, dock software, flight, long range, basic scanner, uh, let's just do that, let's give him a pilot, let's give him some service crew, there you go, and then you can name this, so you can say, I, I like to put, I know it's small ship, scout, you know, I can do scout, I guess, like, just write it out, there you go, scout, and then confirm, 
And there you go. So that'll start building that up. What's uh, what's this mission here? Oh, it's like food thing. Okay. And then uh, that ship that we're building, we can. Oh, I should have actually probably put some uh, satellites on him, but we can use him to help uh, scout around too for new areas and things like that. Not to scout new areas out, but just scout like areas that we've found. Uh, I like to do the scouting myself, to be fair. So there you go. Entering Jupiter. And then, yeah, so I guess we'll have to wait a bit for that one. <laughs> we'll give it a minute. What is this coming up here? There's something weird here. That is actually weird. What is, uh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Something right here. Lockbox, I guess. Yep. Lockbox. It's like one, a pretty complicated one. So this is one I definitely would like to do with, uh, you know, out of my suit for this one for sure. Now that we have that hand uh, gun, it'll make it easier, obviously. So that's the, the, okay. the nice part about it. So we'll use our space suit here. We'll just switch it. So number two for that. There you go. Maybe we shouldn't on purposely accidentally miss Lock like an box. idiot. I guess it has a health to it, so I guess if you're fine with the health, you should be good. Either I'm not close enough to do damage, or... Oh, damn. I don't think this thing does enough damage. Oh no, there we go. You just have to. Uh, okay. You have to just do a lot of damage to it. Okay. My mistake. It's armored, I guess, or something, so it takes longer to take it out. Just a pain in the butt. Take this one out. There you go. They do seem to save the health there, so that's the good news at least. Okay. Holy crap, that's a lot Container. of loot. Look at that. Security splicer, 300k, container. the 40k. Container, con container, container, container. So everything else is pretty meh, but that, yeah. So that's pretty good uh, dough for the, the amount of effort we did, so. Definitely worth it. Okay, so where's our ship? There it is. Okay. Don't forget we got that boost now on this thing. Woo! Docking granted. Oh, we're on the uh, wrong side here, apparently. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. Accelerator, unknown sector. This is cool. I don't know if this is newer in 4 or before that, but we have a, a search thing. Basically, we have to look around and find um, the actual... we got to find where the gate is, I guess, in here. So uh, I'm just going over here because I see lots of obstacles, stations, and stuff like that around here. So I'm just guessing there's something there. There might be uh, more around here, but basically we just go and find a gate till one lights up for us. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a neat little feature actually. So I like that. I'm actually talking about neat features. I guess our new ship would be done now. So let's go ahead. And uh, how do I do the whole, can I right click him and tell him redesign? That's a different thing though, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's just click him and do it the way I know it. So we're going to go ahead, upgrade and repair. We're going to go ahead and get him some satellites to place down. We'll give him 30 of them. 
There you go. 131k. A little expensive, but that's fine. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so we can take that guy, our new guy anyways. Oops, I did not mean to touch that. So another guy. That's what happens when the other waypoints show up. But um, I can get him to start placing uh, satellites around over time. So like at stations and uh, even at gates to keep an eye on uh, the network kind of as a, a nice thing. But this way you keep uh, an update on the prices all the time as well. So that's kind of why I like to have it there. Let me just go ahead and just place you here. There you go. And you kind of just run around and start doing this everywhere. There we go. Wow, looks like we went right to the right spot. I was... I didn't even know if it was one of these here. I saw the other stuff, the highway, but I guess the, Entering the highway Uranus. was the wrong choice. Okay, so same idea, huh? So we're looking for it again. So what do we see in the backdrop here? Maybe that? I don't know. It's hard to tell, but yeah, we'll see. There you go. So I found this one here. And oh, it looks like we're here. Entering Neptune. Awesome. So welcome to the Neptune. That's pretty cool looking. I guess this is a module. <laughs> Almost thought it was a ship just like kind of sitting in a different way or something. I don't know. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going over here. We're in Neptune. There's even a mission here. Was it destroying mines? There you go basic missions so these are the other guys this is the other group of uh, so you have the Terrans and then you have these uh, these guys here the Sagarin whatever Mabopper what does it say they show encyclopedia okay you don't have to tell me where where they are who they are Neptune right is it just all their system I thought it was owned by the other ones huh I guess not for those guys. There you go. Singaris Pioneers. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to just fly all the way over here and hopefully get this party started here. Looks like that's our ride. Flight assist got disabled there. Okay. Do we have to dock or how does this work? Let's let's find You're out. You're late. Fortunately for you, we're having technical difficulties. I looked over your file, and I must say it made for interesting reading. Know this: you will have to impress me personally if you want any chance of getting an assignment worthy of your apparent skill set. While we wait for departure, perhaps you can showcase your resourcefulness. I'm in need of an item not often found on the general market. Should you find it, you will most certainly have piqued my interest. I'll send over some details. Um, deliver an AGI processor. Hey, we have that actually. <laughs> um, because we've been killing Xenon, so I want this is so basically if you do the Genesis project, I believe this is the start you get for that one. So. Um, you know, now you're, you're working with these guys. No, though you're still working with, uh, the Terrans. Uh, I guess now you're kind of, uh, the stories are becoming more entwined. Which is pretty cool. So, hello. Now here's the AGI processor. You're just in time. We're about ready to disembark. Cool. Oh, I was going to get a front row seat, but I guess we'll... We'll get a view from this. There you go. <laughs> We're on our way towards a facility very important to the future of our people. It recently suffered structural damage due to some unknown spatial distortion. That's why you've been brought in. Our resources are limited, but our people are exceptional. I welcome you to the team. Unfortunately, our limited resources force us to make a minor detour. A number of satellites have been targeted by Xenon. While we managed to intercept the attackers, several satellites have been left in a state of disrepair. I will assign a number of satellites for you to return to working order. Let's get to work. Okay. Satellites? Why is it always satellites? <laughs> you have to admit... 
They do satellites quite often oh, in this great. game. Can I help? It's like, so. hey, we have a new mission for you. Oh, what's the new mission? Satellite repairing. Or placing satellites. Okay. There we go. Satellite. Oh, wow. They're quite far out there. They didn't want to make it nice and close, apparently. Hey, at least you get a bit of a challenge, right? <laughs> Remember, this is critical work. Those satellites don't just help with our research. They also serve as a sensor net. So yeah, it's bringing up uh, tutorial I'm quite tips. I'm sure the sensor net is also used to keep tabs on Terran protectorate activity in their sectors. <laughs> Go ahead and repair it, but we may take action later. So as you can see, that uh, <laughs> kind of funny if you think about it. Uh, little tutorial tips are coming up for it, and it's it, that's probably the reason why is because of the thing. So we gotta switch, make sure we don't shoot it. There you go. Is because this is like sort of like the other start as well, and uh, so it, it's just probably built into the scripting of that start. So Docking which granted. makes sense. There you go. Satellite. Next one to go. Okay, come to the next one here. We. There we go. And we get out here. Repair this one. Okay. Yeah, one to go. If you do that too fast, does it still glitch? Oh, it doesn't on this that one. This is Gamma Team. We're done with our satellites. Satellite. So, what? I'm slow? They have a team, though. I, I'm just one person. Jerks. And then, uh, yeah, one more to go here. We got it, or because we kept bouncing like an idiot, so I'm not even sure. Satellite. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Okay. Docking granted. Boom. Okay, so now what we're done that, let's uh, let's go back, I guess. Though I want to check this out here. Unknown object. Oh yeah. There's a gate here. Might as well uh, check it out here. Mark it off, anyways. They're actually really close. I didn't realize they were so close off. I just really want to get that gate done there. And then we can come back here. You know, to Seoul. Well, Seoul's a big place, so. <laughs> Okinawa. Research. Okay. There we go. So we'll go back to these guys here. Docking granted. Oops. Don't think I meant to flip it, but hey, if you want to flip it around for fun, you can. Okay, so Comms gotta... channel open. Oh. Goodbye. I hit the wrong button there. What am I doing wrong here? There you go. Sometimes I'm like, I end up flying like a drunk sailor. It's like, ah, uh, you know, my my fingers might be off on the keyboard slightly or something. It's like game over. Okay, really cool looking. Let me go back to the bridge here. Let's see what up. Uh, Pops is up to here. Now that that's out of the way, we can finally get on with our primary task. I can hardly wait. There we go. 
Pretty cool ship, though. Docking complete. Wait. And here we are. As you know, this is a high security facility. Just because you have clearance to do your job, it doesn't mean you can go wandering off or touch everything. That's our HQ, it is I think. currently unmanned and in safe mode until we can repair the damage and ensure no further anomalies occur. Do you know what causes those anomalies? I'm not at liberty to divulge such information, but <laughs> rest assured you will be safe to perform your duties. We begin by repairing the external structure. Get into your spacesuits and prepare to be guided to your assigned positions. Well, that sounds cool. So this is, yeah, if I if I recall, this looks like it is the, uh, what do you call it? The HQ stuff, huh? Yeah, it is the HQ. Oh, damn, okay. So, shift D here. Okay. Hey, out of this, buddy. So we're going to go and repair some stuff over here, apparently. Put you here, and then uh, I'll go get the other ones first and work my way backwards, I guess. Hello there. Well, hello to you too, sir. Cool. So we'll start for the furthest one here. So the Terran dock pier, interesting. Headquarters. So they build the dock for us automatically or something? That's kind of cool if that's the case. There you go. Ukraine. Place last one here. There we go. We're picking up strange readings again. You better get back to the ship. Sounds good to me. I'm on my ship here. Gravimetric shears. Disengage docking clamps. There you go. I guess we got teleported. You've entered space, blah, 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 Ministry of Finance. Oh, no, it takes us back to where we were before? A grand exchange. Oh, what no. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Assistant? Assistant? Can you oh, hear me? He probably thinks I'm his assistant. Or, no. Oh, it I didn't seems mean to that do they that. were either vaporized or pulled for the roof yeah. themselves. Who? Ah, hmm. And what is this? The you there? Nope. Are you alright? Sure. Uh, where am I? Who are you? You are in Taladi space. Assuming you know what a Taladi is. Heh, <laughs> who are you? My name is Bozo Tar. Some might call me one of the foremost minds of the current age. If anyone knew I existed, that is. But never mind that. Did you perhaps get pulled through the rift along with this station? Uh, you did now, this? Now, let us keep a calm demeanor. Otherwise, your oxygen intake may increase rapidly. I will send a ship to your location. I do hope you will tell me where you have come from. First, let's get you to safety. Oh, if so if you... you are sufficiently safe. Oh, I see. So they, we have another ship because... I'm assuming that you have some connection to this station. Oh, that's cool. I have already begun to remotely interface with its systems and appear to have gained significant access. I have oh so many questions I would like answered, but unfortunately, it seems I must go. You see, I am not currently supposed to be working on this project. <laughs> it appears that I am at a disadvantage and find myself entrusting stewardship of the station to you. Ha! For all I know, you are an enemy agent already privy to the inner workings of this facility. Please do not use it for nefarious purposes while I am absent. 
Not yet, anyways. Am I close enough to get there? No. So you're supposed to. You need blueprints to build, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There you go. Okay, so it looks like we're allowed to go back on our... I want my own ship. Screw this ship. It's like, hey, thanks for the new ship, but I want the other one. So I guess what happens is if you didn't get in your ship fast enough like I did, um, more than likely you come here with just your spacesuit. So what they what that he does is he gives you a free ship for you to go ahead and, well, obviously dock on. So you're, you're kind of protected on that. But I guess we got... Uh, oh, look at this. Automated distress. Where are you guys? You're saying automated distress from where, though? Oh, here we go. Oh, mineral vessel. So uh, something was attacking it, obviously. But uh, anyway, so what we can do now with this new ship is we can just have him do whatever we want, basically. So um, might as well uh, dock here, or we can tell him to even uh, you know search this zone for a bit. So you know, do the whole uh, you know you can go here, you can go up here, kind of thing, and just so he can you know check out the system a bit. And then the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to actually build. So uh, one of the one of the components of doing this is actually building. Um, so we're going to build uh, an actual docking bay, things like that. But that actually takes a while, so we might not get it done in one episode kind of thing. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely check things around, explore the area, and uh, just have some fun, obviously. So uh, either way, thank you so much for watching, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll definitely see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.